channel, I'm Caroline of Crafts to Love. My videos are about upcycling, recycling and reloving old pieces of furniture and uh, outdated home decor which would either have been thrown away in the junk or stored in a garage but I try to repaint them and use my creativity to give them a new look. What some may see as junk, I see it as my next project. So the other day I went and browsed around a second hand shop around the area and I picked up these two little cane chairs. Today's project will be the transformation of one of these chairs. So let's go and start today's transformation. This is the small cane chair I will be working on. That's Inspector Paddy watching what I will be doing next. When the chair was moved around to focus on the camera, he got a little bit startled. The first step to start on a project is to clean the surface. Here I'm using the Frenchy sugar soap. Using a brush for this project would have been a little bit tedious because it's not a smooth surface. So I decided to try this chalk paint spray. I spent a good five minutes figuring out how to start using the spray. I had forgotten that spray cans come with a safety lock. So finally I figured it out. I started spraying um, a light coat over all the surface. And underneath the chair, I sprayed as well. In between coats, leave it to dry. When you're not using the can, Spray a bit of uh, paint with the can upside down so it won't block. Once the paint is completely dry, I was lucky to find this bucket with the exact circumference of the seat, so I traced the circle on a piece of cardboard. I could have traced directly on the wood, the plywood itself, however I wanted to make sure the size was good. Then I got a piece of plywood and I traced the circle around the plywood. I went to the garage and with my electric jigsaw I cut around the circle. It's not a perfect cut, but for my first try cutting a circle, I think it was pretty good. I found a piece of foam from an old cushion, so I cut another circle around the foam. I put some glue to secure the foam onto the wood and I trimmed off the extra bits. Here I found some old sackcloth material, tracing around it but a few centimeters out because it needs to be turned inwards, you need to have it larger than the seat. I looked through my stash of stencils for some inspiration and finally then I decide on what I want to do. Since it was a small children's chair, I chose this unicorn stencil as I am sure my grandchildren would love it. Mm -hmm. 
with some black acrylic paint and the stencil brush I filled up all the areas of the stencil. What's so good about stencils is that you can move them around the area you're working on and fill in the areas as you wish. I added some stars around as well. I immediately clean the stencil with some wipes so the acrylic paint won't stick. The last step would be to attach the fabric to the plywood and foam. So here I'm using small nails and um, working from one side to the other so I can pull and stretch. Ideally you use a wood stapler but I didn't have one at hand. transformation if you happen to have a cane chair or something similar whether it's big or small that you were thinking of throwing away I hope today I managed to inspire you to think about it perhaps go out and buy some spray buy some uh, ready in fancy material if you don't wish to stencil or plain material that you may have around the house get somebody to cut you a piece of plywood to match the size of the chair and like that it is much more satisfying than throwing it away if you liked today's video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more of my creative videos, please do subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. I would also appreciate if you could uh, share this video with your friends. Thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you all again next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye.